in case you don't remember scientific notation from your science class, um, here's the definition. It is a number expressed in the form a times 10 to the nth power, where n is an integer and a is between 1 and 10, where it can be 1, but it can't be 10. And what scientific notation is used for is super huge and super tiny numbers where you want the place value of the numbers to be separated from the numbers you you multiply, like the significant digits. And it's exclusively used in, in science because that's where you get the super huge and super tiny numbers. Like the mass of a star is super huge, but the mass of an electron is super tiny. So 32,000 in scientific notation is 3.2 times 10 to the fourth power. This 10 to the fourth power tells you the place value of the three. Okay, because 10 to the fourth is 10,000. So you have 3.2 ten thousands, which is 32,000. That's how scientific notation works. Now on your calculator, if you get something in scientific notation, it doesn't have the times 10 to the, it is a 3.2 with a little bitty E and then the exponent of four. If you have a really tiny number, meaning a number really close to zero, you can also write that in scientific notation. And the only difference is that you have a negative exponent, in this case, negative five. And this 10 to the negative five, once again, is the place value of that five, okay? And to 10 to the negative fifth power is 10, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000. So that 10 to the negative five is 100,000 with the THS. And so that's where the five is. Now, in order to convert numbers to and from scientific notation, you don't have to, you know, figure out the place value. It's really easy. If it weren't easy, then no one would use it. If it were some really complicated process, then why do it, right? So the way to convert numbers to scientific notation is to locate the decimal and then move the decimal so that the number is between 1 and 10. So you have to move it here in between the 3 and the 2. And then what you do is you count how many places you moved it. So you moved it 1, 2, 3, 4 places. And the number of places tells you that exponent. And so I do the exact same thing here when the number is really close to zero. I move the decimal so that my number be comes between one and 10, which in this case is 5.7. And I think about how many places I moved it and I moved it five places. Now, since I moved these four to the left, that means I'm gonna get, uh, I'm adding to the exponent. And since I moved it to the right here, that means I'm gonna get uh, subtracting from the exponent. Now let's convert from scientific notation to standard notation, meaning the normal way numbers look. So if I have 1.64 times um, 10 to the 10th power, then I'm going to write 1.64, and I need to move the decimal 10 spaces in this direction because a positive 10 power means a big number. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what I need to do in these empty spaces is add my zero placeholders. And then if I have something to a negative exponent, I do the same thing, but I know negative exponents mean numbers that are closer to zero and not super huge, but super tiny. So I have to move my uh, decimal in the opposite direction. In this case, three spaces, and so I have to put in two placeholder zeros, and so I get this value right there.